today I'm going to be doing an autopsy for this motor. It's for a Henry vacuum cleaner. I use a Henry vacuum cleaner for my tool dust extraction. You might have seen it around the shop. It's the red one with the smiley face on it. They're very good vacuum cleaners. They're uh, compact and quite powerful and the bags are easy to get and so are the spares. And generally speaking, they're quite indestructible. Uh, about the only thing to go wrong in them is the motor. This particular motor died while I was doing some sanding. It was connected to my belt sander and I don't think I was pushing it particularly hard. What's interesting is this motor didn't die by letting the smoke out, it just sort of sputtered out. So I'm hoping whatever's wrong with it is repairable. And if it isn't repairable, I'd like to know why it died. So I should point out this isn't just the motor, it's also the turbine unit, but they, they come as one unit. Um, you, can, you can only buy it like this. So without further ado, let's take it apart. So that is staked on there, but that is on really, really tight. Now that's suspicious. So there's something wrong with this brush. It's, uh, it's stuck in. I think the brush has somehow become jammed up there. Right, well, let's take the top off. It, it could just be that brush. It would explain the failure mode, because it just, it literally just petered out. Um, and I wonder if the brush has become jammed, uh, somehow got jammed in the brush holder. Right, and so first glance, there doesn't appear to be any burn marks anywhere. Nothing seems to have let the smoke out particularly. It's all in good nick. Yeah, um, there's no epoxy potting around here, which um, the previous motor I had failed uh, when it uh, when one of the wires around here broke. Uh, I think uh, the the other one uh, the smoke actually came out, so there was maybe a short. Um, but this one looks in basically perfect condition, which is what you'd expect. I mean, it's it's a year old and it hasn't seen very heavy duty. And. There's no smoke marks there, so let's get the multimeter, multimeter out. And everything should measure in the sort of few ohms range. So that is 2.9 ohms, yeah, about right. three point naught so I mean what what that's saying is those windings they're okay um, so there's nothing there let's check the windings here this this will take a while but you know you can check them all if you just touch there and touch across that should just be a couple of ohms yeah I'm not getting a very good connection Hmm, that seems very high. Well, they all seem to be about 60 ohms. That's ridiculous, I'm getting 35 ohms just across the leads. I wonder what happened there. How weird. Yeah, 
it's on the opposite side a couple of lanes, but then you've got more wire. So I'll go around, I'll check all of those off camera and just double check the lead. Okay, so, then, so the lead's a half an ohm. God only knows what happened. It's about time I got a new multimeter, I think. So it looks like it's just the brushes. I'd say it's probably this brush is just not coming out. I, the spring has failed or the brush has become jammed in some way and that's what's uh, caused the motor to fail. Which is really good because that means I've now got a spare motor for my Henry. Um, I think you can get these brushes for a couple of quid online. Um, so I'll find out. Uh, I will take this one apart though to find out what's, uh, how it's failed. Uh, I think, unfortunately, when I tried to when I tried to lever uh, this brush off here, I've torn it slightly, so uh, I'll probably end up replacing this brush as well, assuming I can get it off that. Um, so that is that is on there really tight. Um, but before we do that, this is, uh, I think, a universal motor, so it should run off DC. I don't have to connect it up to the mains, and I've got a bench power supply, so I'm going to rig something together and see if I can run it off the mat, uh, off the bench power supply. Right, so uh, I'm going to put this back together before I break it, because now it's working. I don't want to accidentally go and break it. Well that worked better than I expected, it looks like it's just this brush that's the problem. And I can probably pick one of these up for a couple of quid online. I managed to mangle the connector a bit getting the brush off. Uh, that was on so tight, there was no way that was coming off without a serious fight. So I might end up having to trim that back and uh, fit a new connector, but it's just a crimp connector, it's, it's nothing special. Uh, this brush seems to be good, so I'll leave it as is, although I don't know, I might, because you buy these in pairs, so I might just end up uh, replacing both of them. But again, I don't want to fight with that connector. So yeah, that's brilliant. I've now got a spare motor for my dust extractor.